You could always tell that the more important the issue is, the less the media will talk about it. That's a pretty good. And this is the issue of our disastrous trade policies. And by that, I mean NAFTA, CAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China, and many, many other trade agreements. I was elected to the Congress in 1990, and it took me about eight seconds to figure out that these trade agreements would be a disaster for American workers. They were written, not to shock all of you, they were written by corporate America. And what their goal was, was to say, why should they pay workers in Missouri or Vermont 20, 25 bucks an hour working in a factory when they can shut down here, go to Mexico, go to China, go to low-wage countries, and pay people their pennies an hour? And that, of course, is exactly what has happened. Since 2001, we have seen over 50,000 factories in America shut down. Millions of workers, that's right, millions of workers have lost decent paying jobs. Now, I have, from day one, been a leader in opposition to these disastrous trade policies. Secretary Clinton has supported virtually all of them. Now, as a result of a lot of pressure put on her by the trade union movement, and every union in this country is opposed, as I am, to this Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's right. All right. Now, I was one of the early leaders in opposition, but as a result of a lot of pressure, Secretary Clinton eventually came out against the TPP. That's the good thing. But just the other day, just the other day that she says she wants to make it tougher for automobiles to be imported to this country under the TPP. Well, that's good. But the truth is that is not good enough. That whole agreement stinks. We got to kill it and start over again.